Okay, guys, so I've just gone ahead and made a free account with uh, Optimizely. They give you 30 free days on your free trial, so they give you enough time to go through and play around with things. Um, so because we're playing around with split testing a website here, go ahead and hit web. And for our first project, I'm just going to go and pick some website completely at random. So, you know, the most popular internet marketing uh, niche, I guess, is best dog shampoo, let's say. So let's see what websites come up for that. Now, I'm not going to obviously use my own money sites, um, but let's have a look at bestdogshampoos.com that comes up. Guarantee this is an affiliate site. Um, yep, looks like it is. So it's an affiliate site for Amazon products, I believe. Yep. So, so what I would do is, um, I would go through and split test a few call to actions. Now there's a, there's a bunch of stuff wrong with this site, but just as an example, I'm going to split test, um, the buttons just to show you guys how easy it is to set up a campaign inside Optimizely. So it seems my battery's just gone dead, but all right, we're back. So I'll go ahead, and again, I don't know who owns this website. Um, it's just completely something I've picked at random to put in here. So we'll go through and create a project. And this really is a powerful piece of, piece of uh, software. Okay, guys, so I had to uh, actually just change browsers because it wasn't loading up inside Epic for some reason. So I've loaded it up in Chrome now, and it seems to be loading fine. So when you load up any website inside of it actually just pulls it up exactly how it looks in your browser, which is really cool for a few reasons. It allows you to um, play around with how things look in, in real time and also how it's going to look on the web page rather than you having to know code and so on. So a lot of the times the images won't show up, like the image hasn't showed up here. It doesn't matter too much right now because that's not the area we are testing. So what I would test first on this page, as an example, there's a bunch of things I'd test because it's not, it's not the, the best looking site, but I would go through and test this text on here. So you can go here and you can just go edit text, get yours on Amazon. I would test, click here for best price. Back to these to make it stand out. And I, I would actually change the button, but just an example, I'm going to show you guys this way. I would go there and I would go through and just change all the buttons on there. And you can see here, variation one, you've still got your original. And then your variation one is here. So you can see all these buttons here have now been changed. And what it'll do is it'll split the traffic now between... the two variations and we can see over time which ones converts better and that's pretty much as simple as it gets. You don't need to do anything else apart from set up goals. So what we do is once we've set up <coughs> the split test, we set up goals and what is the goal we want to do? We want to work out which of these buttons converts better. So we create a new goal, click, so I'll call it button number one, it'll load a little live window preview here and then you come down and it'll show the original but what we want to do is we want to monitor the clicks that go on here so we can see whenever that's clicked it'll track it as that's been that being the goal. So now we go through, save that and we just go through and do it for every single one. Super simple stuff. And this is, the, this is the hardest thing about CRO is keeping it simple and keeping the tests just super easy to monitor and don't make too many changes at once. Like if we had changed the color of this button and the text at the same time, we wouldn't have been able to work out what the reason was. So just changing one thing at a time, let the algorithm work out which one's the winner and then test and other elements later on. So that's about it. So I'll just go through and finish off these buttons. 
So button two, three, I believe we've got four buttons, so just one more. So this is the last one, and then we can save. Okay, so now it's going to now it's going to monitor the clicks of each of those buttons we've changed between the original and the variation, and also it's going to monitor the engagement. So which one has more engagement? We're not really needing to monitor that right now. It's good if you're tracking uh, image changes or you've added more content to monitor engagement, but in this instance, we're just gonna track the button clicks over to the Amazon link. So, okay, that's all set up. We've got variation one for, and the original variation comparing against each other. We've got our goals set up, and now we start campaign. And then what it'll do is it'll ask you to put a little um, code in your header. You put it just after the open head bracket. Um, it'll ask you to save. And then it'll ask you to put this little piece of script just after the head tag, as it says right there. You can do that in um, in WordPress by going appearance editor, and then going to the theme header.php or header.php, and then looking for that piece of that. Just I would um, go Control F or Apple F and search for head, and then put it just after that. Push save, and then away you go and then just come back in like 20 30 minutes make sure it's been tracked correctly and then you log in later on and you will see it will be doing its thing so over time as I've outlined in my other campaigns it will show you your visitors how many goals and then you can go through and have a look at the results by clicking here and seeing which ones outperforming the other one and just wait until it'll turn either green or orange when the when it's finished um, so we'll have the amount of clicks and the improvement and then it'll turn green or orange depending when the campaign's over and that's how you come up with your conclude, con conclusion. Super simple stuff um, and I hope that that explains how to use Optimizely.